Yo, what is up, you guys? I'm DeAndre. I'm Javante. And this is Dre and Jay, here today to do a trailer reaction for Doom Prophecy. They dropped an official teaser uh, coming to HBO Max. It's a series uh, based in the Doom franchise. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Denny, I don't know if Denny Villanueva is directing it. I do know. I think he's producing it, though, for sure. Yeah, I don't think he's directing it. Yeah, but, you know, I'm, I'm big on Doom right now. You know, Doom 2, or Doom Part 2 was uh, amazing. You know, one, probably one of my I'll probably say top ten movie of the year so far. Um, so I'm I'm kind of curious to see how they expand it. Uh, I'm pretty sure this probably takes place in a different time period though, but uh, it's still interesting because of like just how how that how Diddy Bill the Wave creates that world and that aesthetic for it. Yeah, I think for me right now I gotta see this trailer because right now going into I, was, I wasn't really hyped about the HBO Max show. I was more just following the Paul story. I enjoyed the Paul story so far, so I was looking at doing one. Part two, um, and Messiah, and that was maybe the one I look at. But I'll check it out, trailer. Let's see what they talk about. I know it's before Paul and before all that. Like so, yeah. we gonna see. Ten thousand years before the birth of Paul Atreides, before the universe would know us as the Bene Gesserit. we founded a system. I must say, that looked pretty good. Quality wise, looked really good. Oh, yeah, for sure. It looked like a lot of the movies, the colors, like the everything. And I'm not lie, like, okay, I'm I'm all in now on it because I was thinking about it when I was watching. I'm like, I know the story's gonna be on point, but I think also the fact that's a show, maybe let's say eight episodes. That's eight hour, hopefully an hour each. That's eight hour, eight hours worth of storytelling. That's about what he needed for two movies. What they needed for two movies. So like, if you can give us. An, a great story in eight hours. I, I think this is gonna be a success, honestly. Not for sure. I mean, I think one, it kind of gives you Game of Thrones, Westworld kind of vibes yeah. uh, from it. That's what I got from the trailer. And I think it's already got since Dune since so I think there's gonna be already that hype. Like, oh, okay, Dune. Like, this is a prequel to what happened in Dune. Like, it's gonna get people already at their attention. But I think overall from this trailer, it looks good. Story, I like a lot of different conflict, a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, very much like Game of Thrones, like you mentioned. I think it looks really good colors wise, and the dresses, outfits, everything looks like really high quality. Don't like they cheap the budget. Mm -hmm. Disney Plus, Star Wars, <laughs> Marvel. But this is like has a good quality budget and stuff like that. It looks really solid. I think yeah, it looks good. Not for sure. And I think, um, even though I know about the story, I'm kind of intrigued to see, to learn more. Like, I'm glad I, there's a couple of characters you see that you know from the movies, but they're younger. Oh, yeah, yeah. But like, I'm all for it. And even even like you're probably gonna get like a background on the houses. Yeah. And exactly. Like, Maybe like their ancestors. Give you some know, house, house of dragons. House of dragon type of house. Hard to you learn more. Yeah. So no, I'm with it, man. And uh This looks good though. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Nice, cool little sci fi show that uh we're gonna be getting on the maps. Now, I don't think all these characters are gonna be Paul Atreides, but these could be some fun characters that we like. Yeah. I agree. I mean, Paul Tree is a different breed. I wonder if he's in it. Now I'm kind of curious. Yeah. Because I see Mark Strong. Mark Strong, he's great. I like him. Damn, prophecy. Why are you throwing keyboard so goddamn hard? I don't know. Because I'm trying to act like the niggas in the movies, you know? Be like, and I am in. They just have the cash right there. Oh. Let's see. Emily Watson. 
Uh, I was about to say, I thought it was about to be him. I, th I thought it was Emma Watson for a sec. Emily Watson as Valia Harkonnen, leader of the Sisterhood. You got Olivia Williams as Tula Harkonnen, Valia's sister. Jodie May as Empress Natalia, a formidable royal who united thousands of worlds in her marriage to Emperor Carino. Sarah Sophie Busnina as Princess Yunez, an independent young princess dealing with the pressures of her responsibility as heir to the Golden Lion throne. Shalom Broom Franklin as Michaela, a strong-willed Freeman woman who serves the royal family while longing for a home planet she's never known. Valene Cunningham as Sister Jen, a fierce, unpredictable acolyte in training at the Sisterhood School who rarely reveals her emotional core. Aofi Hines as Sister Emmeline, a zealous acolyte descended from a long line of maiders, martyrs who carries fervent religion to her training at the Sisterhood. Chloe Leah as Leela, the youngest acolyte at the Sisterhood School with a deep empathy beyond her years. Travis Fimmel, oh, I remember him from uh, Vikings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, that, War that Warcraft movie. Uh, as Desmond Hart. I like that <laughs> Warcraft Karis movie. It's fine. Charismatic. That shit was heavily fucking CGI. God damn. It was fun. Okay, I, I'm trying to debate which which movie has more CGI, that or Speed Racer. That's tough. Probably Speed Racer still. Oh, shit, yeah. But charismatic soldier with an enigmatic past who seeks to gain the Emperor's trust at the, at the expense of the Sisterhood. Mark Strong as Emperor Jamico. Carino, a man from a great line of wartime emperors who was called upon to govern the Imperium and manage a fragile peace. Uh, Jade Anuka as Sister Theodasia, a talented and ambitious acolyte at the Sisterhood who harbors a dangerous secret about her past. And Chris Mason as Kieran Atreides, a swordsmaster to a great house who amb whose ambition to live up to his family name is disrupted when he forms an unexpected connection to a member of the royal family. Interesting. I'm here for it. Yeah. Uh, when it comes out, definitely check it out. Um, this is good for HBO Max also. They don't really have nothing right now. I know they got House of Dragon come, but they don't really have much that, um, that you were looking forward to to keep that subscription going. So, you know, these companies, the streaming service need these subscriptions. So I think that hopefully this gives them... Well, also considering how much HBO lost what, what, last year as far as uh, budget. Yeah, I mean, they didn't even put out any like hits. Like, you know what I mean? They had House of Dragon beside that, you know, hits. So like, hopefully this could become a hit so where you can do multiple seasons and you know, continue to build off of what Dune has done, you know, because Dune is really, I think Dune's in, in the best plate that French has ever been with Denzel Venezuela doing his thing, so um, Which, definitely something to build off of. And this one is based on the Sisterhood of Dune novel by Frank Herbert. Mm. So, I wonder who's directing all the episodes. You just said the director. Um, I was the producer. Anna Forster is serving as director for multiple episodes. But, yeah. You just gotta see it. I don't see Denny Villanueva's name attached. No, I don't think he's doing anything with it. Oh, damn, that's crazy. No, Denny Villanueva. He's doing his, he has his own story. It's a part of his story. I ain't with it. No, I'm just kidding. Same part of his storyline. I still want him, like, producing this shit. Well, I mean, you think he can fight? Yeah, he wants to do all do. I think he probably do his own story. Like, I got the story I'm doing right now. He probably, I'll probably look at this shit. Probably. But all I'm gonna say is, Denny Villeneuve, if you tired of doing Doom, just know we got Batman Beyond waiting for you oh, right here. Just know that. Yeah. Believe that. Um, but no, it looks good, man. Honestly, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I need more shit to watch on HBO Max as well. So, and. Um, I think it would kind of help as far as like going into watching Dune and Dune Part Two again. You know, if you get a little more backstory on these houses and yeah, I think Dune, you like that. I think the Dune movies have put them in a good place where people are interested in Dune and people are really wanting to know the story. So this is a perfect time to capitalize off that man with you know a show and hopefully the show hits. Yeah. You know, and hopefully this you get three seasons of this. By the time you get back done with three seasons, now we have Dune Messiah or something like that. So. You know, I think it could be. I think it's good for them to do. I think it's a perfect time to do it. I think it's smart for them to drop. When they drop them. Mm -hmm. Agree. Um, yeah. What are your guys' thoughts on Doom Prophecy, the official teaser trailer? Be sure to let us know down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this reaction, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'm DeAndre. I'm Devonta. And may that knife, may thy knife chip and shatter. <laughs> good. There we go.
Deuces. <laughs>